everyone, my name is Robert Rewind, and welcome to a game called Game Dev Tycoon. It's about a little uh, tycoon game where you get to make your own little game company and stuff and continue on forward. And it starts back like in 40 years, no, 30 years from before, from now. But we'll find out exactly how the game goes. I only loaded up once to make sure it ran, and well, here we are. So let's start. Let us begin this nice little adventure. Welcome to Game Dev, game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, we have transported you back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, sell the best games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Very nice. Before you can start your adventure, we need to give you, you to give your up company, upcoming company a name. Okay, it's company name. What about... Rewind Gaming. Yeah. Rewind Gaming. That's it. It's player name of, of course, the one and only Robert Rewind. Yeah. Uh, so what's, what's this here? We could... Oh, okay, we, we could uh, adjust this stuff. Let's, let's see what we could find. Sure, we'll go with that. So we need something very, very, um, very good. I like the vest. Perfect. Diamonds. That's what we're going with. That That's... That's where we're going. Yes, this is us. Rubber Rewind, Rewind Gaming. Uh, probably should space out my name. There you go. Let it continue. Okay. Um, I don't think it'll give me the. Is there a little pause? Okay. So um, I kind of did the, tutor the tutorial a little bit before development. You get to decide what type of game you want to create and give it a name. You can also select the graphic technology the game your game should use. Uh, your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you can you will be able to unlock new options. Uh, okay, uh, we gotta give we gotta give it a name. Ooh, th oh, this will be perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. For the game names, I'm gonna use y'all guys' name or y'all your guys' names um in my videos. So if you comment, your name will be in the video. How's that? Sound sound pretty fair? Sound pretty good? I think that's great. Let's do it. Let me just find a name real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have um Bryson B. Bryson B. That is the name of our game. So we need to pick a topic. Okay, so let's make it um Bryson B is a a prison game that is uh actiony. And will be on the PC or the G64. Ooh. Uh, market share. It does have more market share than G64. And dev cost is 20. Oh, man. How much we got? Well, he's got 70k. Let's let's click on it and see how it goes. Okay, so we can make it two. We can make it text-based or two graphics. Let's let's make it. Let's make our first one text-based. Let's start off very slowly. Okay. So 25. Okay, so... Okay, these are points that go into this tutorial. This game development runs through each, uh, each through stages. With getting a stage, you will can decide what areas your game will focus on. You can pick the focus on your game. Greatly increases the points you generate. Okay, think about uh, think about what areas are important for your game. Decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want a brief description of the area, different area, please refer to the help menu. Okay, um, so we're making a text-based action prison game. So I'm guessing. We might need a little bit more on the gameplay. Not so much on this because it's going to be uh, actiony, and the engine should. Be, oh, we should put a little bit more. Yeah, let, let's 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 leave like that. Okay, so we're making the engine. Okay, we're getting some research points. The game development has now started. Excellent. Why are you why are you why are you developing your game? You will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. The points, the game points, divided into des design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the game, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will be bug points. Uh, these are less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time cost. Okay, so we got two bugs here. We got a lot of monthly cost right now. Okay. Uh, development stage 2 prison. Okay, so dialogues won't be too important. Levels, artificial intelligence, not too much. I guess we'll focus more. It's an action-y. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We got a nice little computer here. Look, we have a DeLorean up in here. Very nice. We have Pong up in the wall. 
During the development, you can now select additional features for the game. Right now, click and basic sounds is your option, but will increase uh, it quicks quickly. Selecting better additional features make the game generate best. Whatever. Uh, reading is not my strong suit. Uh, you all see the graphic type you selected when you redefine the game. This is just remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics in mid-game. Oh, okay, so we can't change this now. Uh, graphics, it's text-based. We don't need much. I guess we could go really high in the sound design and the world design. How's that? Okay. What we got? So we have four bugs. We, we have we have a lot of research points. Or is it a little bit? It looks like we're... Okay, development game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish the game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of the bugs. Reducing the game without fixed bugs can severely affect your ratings and should never ever be considered only if you need cash and you can't afford to wait. So basically, poor management. So we we'll just, we'll just wait for all these bugs to go up. We'll leave. We'll wait for them to leave. There you go. Oh, we actually created a bug. Okay, let's let, 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 let's press that. Let's go. Developing game is now finished. While developing, your game can get experience and permanent skills. While development is complete, you get some blah, 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 blah. Okay. Nice. We got 10. What is this? Engineering. Engine points. Gameplay. Story. Oh, this, this, is, what, this is what our rating is. is it? No, this is our experience. Okay, what do we got? Rubber Rewind! Yeah! Uh, trash the game. No, uh, let's, uh, Bryce and B, you are ready to go. Release the game. Good judgment! Create a game with a good topic slash genre combination. Yay! We did good! Your game is not complete- and I got an achievement, but I can't re I can't really see it because of the way how the game, uh, the resolution of it is. Okay, what do we got? 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 We lost money! Great! The game review- okay, the uh, reviews for our first newly released game, Bryce and B came in! Oh, uh, what do we get? Uh, low ratings, low ratings. A waste of money. Damn, you bastards. You don't like this game. Not bad, not good. Well, you suck. Meh. Well, meh to your face, too. So, uninspiring. Uh, do the like, names of the games actually count? As you're publishing your game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation, generate game report, and game reports are a great way to gain research points as well. Highly invaluable insight that works and things that don't win developing game. Ah, uh, these are a mouthful. Generate game report, close this message, and click anywhere on the screen to pop up the action menu. Uh, generate game report. Yes, that's the only one we got. So, uh, 3.75. Ugh, that's terrible. We want game, and newcoming game industry has just released their first game, Bryce and Beer, the game every moderate response from viewers. We are curious what we want gaming will deliver in the future. Hmm. What did I? Oh, look, we're actually selling stuff. Wow. First week of sales, Bryce and B sold 2,203 in the first week of the market. Nice. Now the game is on sale. You receive income from every game every week. You could see uh, the game every week. You could see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales on top of the right of the screen. Oh, so that's the first week right there. Okay. Game report, our post analysis, Bryce and... Oh my gosh, this is a lot of reading. Prison and action is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems very important. Oh. Okay, I didn't focus a lot in the artificial intelligence. Whoopsie. Game reports are great. Uh, now you complete your first game report. Blah, 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 blah. Close the message. Okay, what? Uh, well, we can research stuff now. Let's see. Uh, research. Research is very important to unlock new options. You try to save enough research points to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topics in general. Okay. Um, let's, let's do a school one. Oh, we can only do one? Okay, yeah, let's do a school, school journal, I, I think. We can go down education. Year one, month five, week two, zero fans. Just like my YouTube channel. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, we should go, uh, right, school. What now? Do I, do I make a new game now? Wow, look at those sales. Oh, it actually, it actually paused whenever we're there. Really? Okay, yeah, I'm beginning to lose a lot of money. Okay, um, let's develop a new game. Um, so next one is gonna be another one will be a uh, couple up, and that will be a school um, simulation. No, RPG, RPG. And it will be on, once again, this one has more market share, so let's do that. Couple Up is the name of ours. It will be uh, 2D graphics. We'll make it like a dating simulator, I think, or something like that. Okay. Um, story and Quest should be very high. Game Engine should... Story and Quest will be very high for this one, for this RPG. 
gameplay will bring it down a little bit and turn up your engine? I think. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we made we made our first game. I'm making video games. My new games. Okay, artificial dialogues very important for RPGs. Level design not so much, and artificial intelligence probably not. But we'll we'll bring it up like that. Okay, how's that? I think that's good, right? When do I start making money? B Bryson B is now off the market. It has sold six thousand units, generating forty three thousand in sales. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very nice. This is really optimistic. Wow, we are getting a lot of bugs. Aha. We're doing... Okay. Um, I guess we'll make your graphics a little bit better. We'll, we'll... I don't know what this is. World design. It's an RPG. So do we need a lot of world design? Yes. Do we need a lot of sounds for RPGs? Uh, we'll, we'll balance them out a little bit. Yeah. Recent studies that... Oh, recent market studies suggest that the Grove Door 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. The consumers prefer the lower price, generate greater availability, and the flexibility of hardware under other ones. Okay, so I'm doing good. Extra said this might spell the end of the competition of the hardware manufacturers. Interesting. Okay, so we have a lot of bugs. We do have a lot of research, though. No, 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 this fix those. Your bank account is the red. Oh, shoot. Uh, you could with all over 50k, but you go, oh, whoops, <laughs> whoopsie. Okay, we did terrible. I think we did a lot of waiting. That's the problem. I didn't realize you could pause. Okay, there, go. Finish the game. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Couple up. We can also edit the game name here, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, let's just skip this. Okay, so we did, we, we gained a good amount of experience. Let's release the game and see what happens. Uh, first, uh, okay, couple up, right? Game review. Oh, it's a six quirky, but good. Interesting. Okay. We got a five falls a bit short. You fall a bit short. Get the hell out of here. Uh, beautiful. Yay. I like your game. You're a lot better than you were last time. Last time you were an ass to me. Their focus on dialogues really serve this game. Well, yes, I knew it. Uh, generate game report. Yes. That's what we got to do. Couple up. Select that one. Okay. We are bankrupt. Please give me money. <laughs> I don't want to die. A couple was so successful that we gained 20, 23 fans. Wow, amazing. That's actually pretty good. That's wow. That actually put me back up into the green. <laughs> According to the uh, rumors, uh, Japanese company Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo. I see what you did there. Yeah, is planning to launch its very own home game console. Nintendo is, is known widely for the successful successful Dinky King. Okay, many experts doubt that the home gaming console will take off, but they're eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Ah, uh, you are very wrong. Look at this game here. Regardless, I'm playing on PC, but still. A uh, couple up has achieved some company company sales records with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone for the history of Robert of Rewind Gaming. Oh, yeah. Post analysis of ports. My goodness, this is a, a one to read. This is one I could read. School and RPG is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important. Did I do a lot of level design? I don't remember. Perform genre match. RPG, very good. Very excellent. Okay. We are. Give me that. Let's research something in the meantime. Let's make a new topic. Hospital. Hospital seems good. We'll make like uh, What's that? Surgeon Simulator game. Actually, I do own the game, but I haven't played on the channel. I will play it one day. One of these. By the time, I'll probably it'll be very old and out of date. Put your hand back on the damn computer and get back to work. We actually did have an increase of sales here. Research has now been complete. Right. Excellent. Let's actually research one more thing. New topic. What do we got? Comedy? Yeah. We could do that. Couple markets off the market. So 15,000 generate 100,000, 108,000 in sales. Very nice. Wow. We almost have enough, we almost have enough money as we did in the beginning of the game. That is very, very good. Put your damn hand on that computer and get back to work. Uh, today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors that announced their plans to release a new home game called the TES NES the next year. The console features cartridge based games and uniquely designed controller. Interesting. We need to jump on that ball fast. But I'm too busy here just wasting my time and scratching my head. You have now researched a new topic, comedy. Right, could I... Um... I can't actually do that yet. I want to buy that new game, that new thing. But, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, thank you all for watching. Tell me what you think about the game. Think, think, tell me what you think about the whole um, comedy system. Oh... Oh, oh, I didn't put pause. Uh, Phil Patrick and Daniel Craig, Greenheart Games. Hi, Robert. We are the creators of Dev Cartoon. We'd like to thank you for purchasing the game very much. Oh, well, I thank you. You know, uh, thank you for the little thank you. 
You're welcome. Think this was the very first game, which means, oh, that's really cool, really? With your very purchases, uh, uh, support a little startup, and hopefully this will make sure we can make more games in the future. Wow. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much. And the game Jeff, game Jeff, that goon. Thank you. Oh, my, 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 my timer is going off. Let's pause the game. So let's make sure that's going. Yes. So that was pretty cool. So yes, if you like your name to come in the video, please comment down below. It would really help. You can even just put the letter K. You can be, hey, be like, hey, I'm your fan. I'll subscribe to, you know, I have 64 now. Uh, took me a to get 64 subscribers, but still. Uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching. My name is everyone. Drop a good wine. And once again, thanks for watching. <laughs>